Hello and welcome to Auto Portal, the car buying website that helps you buy better. And before going any further, let me wish you a very happy new year and may all your motoring dreams come true this year. Don't forget to wear your seat belts and drive safe and follow all the traffic rules because safety is not only important for you and other motorists but also for your loved ones at home. Well, since this is the first video of this year, let's talk about some upcoming car launches this year and uh, the first one of course is going to happen in the month of January. It is the Maruti Suzuki Ignis Compact Crossover. Now this car is under 4 meters in length. Maruti recently showed it to a select few journalists and I have already done a first look video of this car at the Tokyo Motor Show from 2015. So if you want to know more about this car you can of course check out the details by clicking on this link over here and seeing them for yourself. What I will tell you of course is that it's a car which will be sold via the Nexa dealerships. It's a car which looks really very funky and if you are in the market for a hatchback which has a lot of personality and also has the style of a compact crossover then the Ignis is a car you should definitely check out. Well, the prices for the Ignis are expected to start from around 5 lakh rupees for the entry level petrol version and it will go all the way up to about 8 lakh rupees for the top end diesel. You can also expect an all new 1 litre booster jet engine to be launched on this car sometime soon and of course that engine will only come once it's available on the Baleno RS. The Ignis will also get a CVT along with the uh, 1 litre booster jet engine but of course as I just mentioned that engine will only come towards the second half of 2017. Well, but if you are someone who wants something bigger and want an MPV, then you should check out the Tata Hexa, which will also be launched in January. And if you have already seen my review of the car, you will be knowing that it is a phenomenal product. In fact, we've also compared it with the Mahindra XUV as well as the Toyota Innova Crista and the Tata Hexa came out as the winner of that comparison as well. Now this of course is a 6 or 7 seater which comes with a load of features and also with a very fuel efficient as well as peppy diesel engine and uh, prices for the Hexa are expected to start from around Rs 12 lakhs and if you are interested in the car you can also book the Tata Hexa from our website. All you need to do is simply fill out a form and other details and our agents as well as our dealer partners will get in touch with you and deliver the Hexa at your doorstep. So if you want to get uh, the Hexa booked, you can also click this link over here and uh, get it for yourself. Well, but if you're not in a big rush to buy a new car right now and can wait for a couple of months or three months, then you should also check out the Hyundai Grand Items updated version, which will be launched in uh, March or April. Now the Grand Item will get an all new face with a new bumper as well as new lamps. And it will also have updated interiors. And as part of the upgrade, you will now get an all new automatic climate control system on the Grand i10 as well as a touchscreen system for the infotainment, which will really add a lot of value to the already very good value for money Grand i10. And of course, that is a car which will be launched in March or April from the house of Hyundai. Well, prices for the Grand i10 are expected to be slashed ever so slightly because remember its main rival, the Tata Tiago, undercuts it massively in terms of pricing. So we do expect a small marginal price reduction from Hyundai to make uh, the Grand i10 even more competitive than it already is. And what that means is that if you are in the market for a high quality, no nonsense, feature packed, small hatchback, then the Grand i10 is a car that you should wait for till at least April. Well, if you are planning to wait till April, then you should also wait for the Ford EcoSport. Yes, the 2017 EcoSport will be here. And what is this car all about? Well, it gets an all new face. It looks very dramatic and much more pleasing on the eye than the outgoing model. And it really does look very bold and macho now. And uh, even the interiors are in for a big change. Remember, every time we have driven the Ford EcoSport in the past, we haven't really liked it for the interiors but we have liked it for the driving. So now Ford is finally going to uh, give it the interior that it deserves and the Echo Sport will get a new touchscreen system along with a host of other features which will make it one of the best bets in the compact SUV space here in India. Well, so the interiors and the face might be changed but the Echo Sport will still have the same set of engines which means that you will get the most powerful diesel engine in its class at that price point and you'll also get the most powerful one litre petrol motor on sale in India at the moment. Well, but the Ford Echo Sport will only go on sale after April. So if you can, of course, uh, wait till then, you should definitely check this car out for the sheer value as well as strong build quality that it has to offer. Well, prices for the Ford Echo Sport are expected to remain unchanged, which means that you can have the base version of the car for just a little under 7 lakh rupees, which means that the Echo Sport will be terrific value for money as well. Well, but there's one more Tata car that you should also wait for, and that is the Tiago-based kite 
5 and uh, the kite is essentially a compact uh, entry sedan which is under 4 meters in length but it is of course based on the very popular and very well engineered Tata Tiago and what all that means is that you will now have uh, the choice of not 6 but 7 compact sedans to choose from come April or May because remember it will rival the likes of the Maruti Suzuki Desire, the Ford Aspire, the Honda Amaze, the Hyundai Accent as well as the Volkswagen Amio and the Tata Zest as well. So that makes it a total of 7 cars to choose from. Well, so what is the kite all about? Essentially, it's uh, got the same engines as the Tiago, but it of course has a much bigger and much more usable boot. And the interiors will also be one of the roomiest in its segment. And all this at a price point of around 5 lakh rupees means that the Kite 5 or whatever it will be called when it is finally launched will really be exceptional value for money. Well, just like the Tiago hatchback, even the Kite sedan will uh, be very competitive in terms of its pricing. And we expect it to be the most affordable entry compact sedan here in India. And what that means is that you should definitely wait for the Kite if you're in the market for a family sedan which is affordable, well equipped as well as good to drive. Well, this of course is only a small portion of the big car launches for 2017 and we'll of course make a lot more videos and we'll let you know which other cars are being launched over the next few months. So do stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking on this uh, link over here. And also, please do follow us on Facebook as well as on Twitter to know all the latest happenings in the Indian automotive space and also uh, follow us to get the most unbiased and honest car reviews here in India on the internet. It's bye for now and hope to see you soon.